car gets put together. Spock here. <laughs> Hi, my name is Lou Hayes. I live in Peonia, Colorado. Um, I've been building guitars since 1993, first as a hobby, then as a profession, um, then as a hobby again. <laughs> and that's about where I am now. This is an old uh, carriage house uh, where you would literally you know, have your horse and carriage and there was a hay, hay loft shoot thing right there. Well, I saw this and it was like, oh, this, this would be a great shop. Always loved making things from when I was a little kid. Used to build balsa wood tissue model airplanes and fill them with firecrackers and fly them and we'll shoot them out of the sky. <laughs> I know at one point, um, I wanted a Martin guitar and I knew I couldn't afford one. And I found out, and this is, this is around 93, um, that Martin was selling kits for about $300. And you could get, you know, the, it was the Indian Rosewood model, the D28, um, and the sides came pre-bent, and the fretboard was already slotted. And basically, it was like putting a model together. Built that guitar. Um, a friend of mine who I was working with up in Aspen at a hardware store, he was a, you know, he was a moonlight musician. He had an old Ibanez. He thought my guitar was better. He bought it. I bought another kit, I put it together, I sold it, I bought another kit, I put it together, I sold it. And ended up going out to um, school in California, um, studied with a gentleman named Charles Fox, the American School of Luthery in Healdsburg, California. That brought on a total new skill set. I mean, now, you know, now I could take raw lumber and get a guitar out at the other end. So he would show us how to do that part and put that away and then take out one that was ready to take to the next step and this is how you carve it. So like everything was like, and I, I, I call it like the Betty Crocker style, you know, cause like, you know how she used to put the cake in the oven and then she'd take it out immediately and show you how to frost it kind of thing. Yeah, so that's, that's how that was working. <laughs> it was a really, really cool efficient system that I've never duplicated. So, Sorry, Charles. <laughs> so then what's your system? Um, the what should I do today system? Nice. <laughs> I'll get a call for, you know, I, got, I advertise in the local paper for my repair work. And um, I'll get a call and, uh, you know, wh wh when's your shop, where's your shop, when's it open? I was like, well, it's really not open. The best thing to do is come to the pizza parlor. And they go, you're that, Louie? <laughs> yeah, we're one and the same. <laughs> Getting one of these done and getting them into the hands of one of the local musicians who could really play and just let him put it through its paces and I'm like, wow. So this is the baritone that Steve was playing yesterday. My friend who loves all the alternate tunings and great sounds. Oh, we're just doing live music. I mean, just music. I started to try to play guitar. And this was in this was still at that '93 era where I'm, you know, starting to build guitars too, and I just had to go with my strength. I mean, I just, you know, I mean, I, I can I can chunk chords and I can sing along with myself, but um, I consider my uh, guitar building to be my contribution to the musical world. And as Charles told us all, we build tools for artists. <laughs> and, and really that's true because these things do not begin to exist until they're in the hands of someone who knows what to do with them. Otherwise they're just pretty pieces of wood with strings on them. I am actually going to go see Charles this June again. Yep, he's still teaching. He, he's got this other thing going on now where he does this like really small class in his house, like four to six students, um, close up and intimate. And um, as part of my jump back into the Luthery world, uh, I'll be headed up there this June. And, see what's changed in the last 25 years. Uh, what advice would you give to people that want to start building things that have interest in that? Just don't. Just don't. 
<laughs> no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I tell, all right, I'm laughing, but um, um, no, 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 no. Um, the, the funny thing is, um, remember the $300 Martin kit that I was going to buy to build for myself so that I, you know, because I couldn't afford that. What were they at the time? $1,500 or something at the time, right? Um, I spent way more than that in tools. <laughs> Could have bought that guitar three times over. <laughs> so this is um, hot off the press, guitar number 82, which is, I'm actually up to 85, but I had to jump over this guy. I started him in 19, um, no, 2017. Um, then I got some commissions, so he sat around for a while. That is Cocobolo Rosewood with an Adirondack spruce top, trimmed in koa. Uh, with some sterling silver Celtic knots for position markers. I like it.